Yeah, I mean, I think that there are lots of reasons that people are focused on this. Some of them have to do with the, the broader, I think, positive trend of decolonization and ensuring that uh, more people are at the table. And I think that that has intrinsic benefits, but it also has like just common sense business benefits because so many, there are so many folks who have a lot to offer who have not been able to offer it because of the way that the table is structured. Everyone understands diversity or translate it in different ways because again, it comes from their own experiences, the background, their references. Going back to the pandemic, um, it was a time that we all had to raise those questions, to raise those flags and, and identify those gaps. Of course, obviously they've been there for longer than that, uh, but it was give us a time to think and, and kind of debate and have those conversations and bring them to a different level. I think one thing that I learned from today and kind of chatting was just really just how blaringly apparent the statistics are. It's kind of a double-edged sword in that sense of the validation as well as the daunting realization of, of where we still need to go and how much we still need to move forward. And, and I think that was really just the, the biggest learning, learning curve for me anyways. That's part of what this installation is about. And so, you know, in, our, in the first session that we did on research, we looked at one particular, different kinds of quantitative and community research. In this one, we looked at it in a bigger context, but then also tried to uh, scale it down to our community uh, level so that we could start to take action on these things. When we're looking at this, we're, we're not thinking of it as, you know, one community that we're um, engaging with, but it really is benefiting the entire music ecology. For me, the importance of always getting together with different people that have different backgrounds is important because it enriches the conversation so much and uh, bring different perspectives to the equation. We have a responsibility to ensure that these conversations continue. As someone mentioned in the panel today, we're not extracting information from community, but we're working with community to identify what their needs are. And um, you know, by supporting that and, and how institutions can help is, is really to, to listen and learn in terms of what community needs and use that as a starting place.